Hola Taurus, welcome to your a love reading for June 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Send me an email, a DM, or now you can text me at 646-902-5715. And I'll also be doing my live uh, phone and chat readings through that number also. So yeah, hit me up. Let's figure it out. Um, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe. Can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Tauruses? for love for June 2022. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What does Taurus need to know? Any messages, please? What are the energies prior to June that Taurus passed out of? We have the Hermit card in reverse, which is the card of Virgo. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them. In addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else, King of Swords is in the reverse for energies in June. Um, in my playlist, 2022 Sun Moon predictions 2023s are going to be coming out. Put your requests in the comments. I will put them in queue. Six of Pentacles in the reverse as you move out of um, June into July. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, donate in any of the links below, or just uh, support me in the comments for my channel. Let's get to your reading. So, energy is probably two. We have the Hermit card in reverse. I feel this is actually you guys. This is the, the card of Virgo for um, some of you who would like to know that, but... Um, what I'm getting is you are taking yourself, you were taking yourself out of a situation, cutting yourself off from a person. Um, <laughs> I almost, it's weird what I'm seeing. I'm almost seeing like a, a, like bricking up a doorway. Obviously that's rhetorical. It's not really doing that, but just to kind of keep somebody out. You know, you've seen the movie, someone's like bricking and cementing, brick and mortaring up like a doorway. Um, I feel like, you know, you're trying to do that. And I'm getting um a, like resentment um not wanting to be around this person not wanting to be around anybody that they're associated just taking your out of it with yourself out of it withdrawing completely um i do feel as though this person has done something to you and you just like need time to you needed time to let the dust settle um but I just feel like this person cannot get to you, okay? But I also don't think you're using the time wisely um, during your seclusion, if that makes sense. I think I think you're having some negative stuff kind of going on there. Um, so energies in June, the King of Swords is the reverse. This person's not happy about this. Um, they're actually trying to figure out how to get through the brick wall, so to speak. So they're gonna they're using all their intelligence to kind of manipulate the situation so they can kind of get to you um you know like I said mind games they might they might escalate their behavior they might try to con you into something they might try to pressure you into something um they're trying to do whatever they can to kind of get through to you and I, I think that um you know you've made it very apparent that you don't want to be around this person or even have anything to do with this person and June going out into July, this is a very unequal relationship. It continues to be. And basically what it is, is somebody's exerting all the power over the other person. Um, somebody is the power and the other person is being weakened. Um, one person is, you know, um, does all the giving, the other person does all the taking. So it really is, and you might be having this realization that they're, this person doesn't have any respect for you. They, they don't, they don't, give back what you put into them or things like that and I feel you're this you know it continues that you just want to kind of keep this chasm between um or this distance between yourself and this other person if not like totally shutting and nailing the door so um let me see what's going on with the clarifiers why is the hermit card here in reverse who is this person what's this energy okay we have the three of wands in the reverse we have the knight of pentacles in the upright and then we have the high priestess high priestess in the reversed um the three of wands 
what I'm getting from that is that you're just not talking to this person. I feel as though um, you're making it very hard for them or you were making it very hard for them to communicate with you. Again, kind of taking yourself out of it. Because every time you do communicate with them, I feel like you get you end up two steps back. It's not very productive. It, it kind of messes things up for you on your end. Um, you know, setbacks in regards to that. Now you are thinking of how to handle this person or how things are going to be moving forward. Knight of Pentacles up is an indicator to me where you're, you're, you were thinking, okay, what is going to be the plan in handling this person or managing this person? Like, I feel as though when you come back out of your cave, um, you know, you're trying to figure out what you need to do um, because they're still going to be there when you, when you decide to come out of this and you're going to have to need to figure out how to handle them without, with minimizing as much risk, risk to yourself as possible. Um, high priestess in reverse indicates you just do not think, did not think very kindly of this person. Um, you feel like this person is actually leading you down the wrong path. I often think of the high priestess as like a sorceress or a siren, like, you know, saying to somebody, you know, come with me and really like taking you somewhere, you know, blocking your, um, purposely blocking, uh, any senses you have and, and just blindly following them. So again, a, a manipulative card to me or somebody who's who's trying to, to do something in a bad way, so to speak. So I, I just don't think you think very much of them. Um, and that's why you took yourself out of the equation. Why is the King of Swords here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Oh, I'm sorry, I sound all congested. Right. And that's why I don't know if I told you guys, but I've been I was late on this because I had a really bad cold that lasts for two weeks, and I went through all phases of it from my head to my chest, just to my head. Um, so I apologize for that. All right, so oh okay, so so this person is like this in June, and I feel like this is where you get your power back. I feel like you you're being the King of Wands, and you're kind of saying, you know what, this person is not going to kick me down. I figured when I came out of my box, I'm going to come out kicking, um, kickboxing, get it? Um, <laughs> but I feel as though you have asserted yourself or made yourself the boss of this and the boss of them. And you're not doing it in a crappy way. You're not crapping on them. You're just like, Hey, you know what? This is how this is going to be because this is how I want things to be. And, and you're handling it well. Um, I feel as though with the seven of wands and the upright, they're going to give you opposition about this. They're again, they're going to try to kind of push up on you to see if you're going to yield. But I see you maintaining your position and saying, nope, you know, that's not going to happen. And you're going to, you're going to be assertive. It's going to be calm assertion. You're not getting fired up or anything like that. You're just restating what your intent is because it doesn't seem like they got it the first time. So that's what I'm getting from that. Uh, Magician card in the upright says that you are just... Um, this ship has sailed and you're kind of um, trying to figure out how can you can use everything that you kind of have around you to manifest a new cycle for yourself. You have you have different visions now outside of this person. You're trying to focus on that and you're going to use your tools and your concentration to kind of make that happen. So um, and, and I think they sense that they're going to be left in the dust. So they're not very happy about that. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse for... Tauruses, who's this person? What's this energy? Huh. Six of Cups in the upright. The Emperor's card in the reversed. Oh. Okay, so as you move forward, it looks like somebody from your past kind of comes rolling in. Somebody who's a really good person. Um, and it's funny is with the minute I pulled that card, I got the sense that this person is like, look, you do you not see what this person's doing to you and how they're manipulating you and how they're trying to exert, um, you know, take your power away and, 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 and exert like superiority upon you and get them to, to get you to do their bidding. So I feel like this person from your past, um, and they're a good person. They're just like pointing out to you, you know, come on now, like, you know, keep it moving forward in regards to this person. Don't even kind of entertain anything because they're still trying to take from you. And with the Emperor's card in reverse, this person is very aware of this person of your past. So the person that, that is giving you grief is aware of this person from your past. 
that has returned and they're hovering. So what they're doing is they're making sure they're asking you your business, their, um, what's going on with you all the time. They wanna know where you are, where have you been, what have you been up to, what's going on. Um, they just, they're smothering you. There's no way you can kind of, and it's causing a lot of disruption, just, disruption to your environment and to your connection with this person so the two of you can't grow and it's annoying and I think it's also annoying the other person too um but the world card in the reverse indicates to me that you have just kind of decided that other relationship is not for me anymore um with this person's support from my past I'm gonna be able to I, I'm ready to just kind of be done with that and I'm ready to do something with this person like this person is the person that you're meant to be with the person from your past they weren't ready they weren't ready for you and you weren't ready for them when you guys had your relationship in the past but I feel as though when you guys reconnect the timing is going to be right in regards to everything so when something like that happens I often say you should thank the previous person because if you didn't get tangled up with the previous person um they wouldn't have been able to change the trajectory of when you were to meet the other person you know what I mean so I don't know if you get that, but anyways, that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM or text me at 646-902-5715 and we can set that up. I'm also offering live chat and live phone now. Uh, just now? I don't, I don't know how to end that sentence. No video though, because you'd just be looking at hands. Um, also make sure you click on the link below for your Vimeo reading, which will have what your love interest is thinking or feeling in that spread. It would also tell you something you do not know about them. In addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist are your 2022 sun and moon predictions. Um, 2023s are gonna, threes are gonna be going up. Put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe. Feel free to donate in any of the donation links I left below or just donate me in the comments. I love your comments and they're very supportive of my channel. So that's what I have for you all. I will see you in the video reading Aries. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.